Today on Toy Shoes, we're checking out some spooky, scary skeletons. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shoes here, and a very happy beginning of October to you all. Leading up to Halloween, we'll be doing some spooky, scary <laughs> videos this month. All kinds of old toys and new toys dealing with the horror element. But today, we're totally checking out some brand new-ish... I guess they had these last year, but these are seven inch, fully articulated. I'm counting, depending on how you want to count it, 22 to 25 points of articulation, which is pretty good considering they're $3.88 and they're at the Walmart Halloween section now. I believe last year, some people were saying they were at Home Depot. I don't remember them being this articulated though. So in either case, I got a couple of them. We'll look at them, see if they can hold weapons, see what they go with, see what they scale with. This is going to be fun, right? Maybe you get some army builders for your Halloween shelf this year. Who knows? Anyways, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot spooky cup of coffee. This is a look at the sort of brand new Walmart Halloween mini posable skeletons. So to just kind of look at these up close for the packaging, you know, it says Halloween mini posable skeleton. It's basically just a piece of cardboard and they're held together with a twisty tie. So there's not much to them. Here's the barcode as well if you want to screen grab it and see if they have them at Walmart. I don't believe they're on the website. If they are, I have not seen them. But yeah, they're in the Halloween seasonal section that's all set up around Walmart stores now. So look in where they, you know, the fine little crafty type things. That's where I found them hats and door decor and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, for, I mean, a mini skeleton, they ain't too shabby at all. Let's get these out and start looking at them. But I will ask if you're new here, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So with these spooky, scary skeleton peoples, very, very simple, right? But articulated is all holy heck, which is <laughs> really interesting. And they stand well, and they pose well, and everything seems to work. I really have had no problems whatsoever on these. And you can pull the limbs off, and you can detach everything, but the head ball joint gets you some really good articulation. I'll tell you that. It's pretty cool. It left, down, up, down, <laughs> sometimes even more really expensive action figures don't even look up that much. And the jaw is sort of articulated. I wish it was just a little bit more, but the arms, they work pretty dang good too. Everything's like on a ball joint. You got single jointed elbows. The wrists just spin. They don't rock in that sense. But in moving the arms around, you could get some really good posability options <laughs> out of this. I'm quite surprised, to be honest with you. And nothing feels like it's going to break or janky. They're just some pretty solid action figures. You can get them into the sitting position. You want to put them into a vehicle. You can also have him going back, spin right there <laughs> at the at the spinal cord. You know what I mean? And then at the legs, the groin area, you know, he'll kick out. He's got the same type of ball joints as the arms. It'll spin, kind of has like a thigh, a thigh bone rotation, right? You can say that. And he's got the knees. He's got some pretty good knees. I got to give it to him on that they'll spin they'll rock they'll go up and down you get them in some cool skeleton yoga poses if you wanted to go that route and then they kind of have like mcfarlane ish ankle joints but they work a lot better than mcfarlane sometimes <laughs> if we're being honest but yeah i mean in all honesty they stand pretty dang solid and i really just like the fact that you can get these guys Posing, now holding things a little bit different. They have a thumb. You can, like with this guy, he's holding the sword. You can get the shield around his arm. But it's not going to hold everything, just FYI. It holds it pretty secure for the most part. I haven't really had it fall out. But you're going to have to get the thumb around, like say a sword or a gun or something like that. It may not look oh so natural. But they do photograph well. You can have some goofy photos. You can have some fun photos if you got little pieces and parts and weapons and doodads and whatever else that i have you know pirates of the caribbean style that'd be cool get one of those like red things you know that glows and put it down his gullet <laughs> oh look it's all of us in about 60 years right <laughs> we'll be doing this till the day we die unfortunately but they are cool because they will mix and match with a lot of different lines that are out now 
Specifically, the first thing that came to my head was attacking Castle Grayskull. Skeletor, raising out the forces of the dead. I would say maybe a little bit too tall for Origins, just FYI. Being that they're at the 7-inch mark... And there's skeleton monster people. It'll depend what you think about for Marvel Legends. But McFarlane, NECA toys, things that are already in that 7-inch scale. I mean, think about all these skeletons attacking Spawn. That's kind of cool. The Phantom. Everything else. Pulp Comics. I think that these will go well. Or you could just have it straight as a horror element. Or you're going to put it in your Halloween decorations. Maybe on your shelf. Maybe something around the house. It is a lot of fun, and I think that these definitely are well articulated and just cool for the price point. I mean, four bucks, not too shabby at all. So I think you're going to have a lot of fun, and I'd like to see some photos of everyone kind of doing their own thing if you pick these up. It's, it's curious to me to see what people could get into, put on costumes. The, the sky's the limit for these. But I will say this all day, the price is right, they're articulated well. And I think you'll have a heck of a lot of fun finding what works for you, what lines to put them with, and just having a spooky good October for 2021. But I am curious to know what you guys think. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything spooky, scary skeletons. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, this is going to be a great October. You got to make up for last year, right? Last year was it's terrible. <laughs> All things considered, right? When you do... Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.